that was the way I protected it for about 10 years. I just kept it secret that this place had some spirit bear cubs. When I first started, I couldn't go back home and talk about my experience. It was so sacred. The legend of this spirit bear is the raven, which we call the creator, left one in ten bears white to remind us of the Ice Age when things were clean and pristine. And We're on an island just sort of south uh, of uh, Hartley Bay called Gribble Island. We've got a high concentration of the recessive gene that uh, comes, makes the bear come out white. It's taken over 10 years to get these bears the way they are now. They choose to be here. Like they don't have to be here. They could be at another part of the river fishing but they make, they make a choice. They're actually safer with us than they are when, when they're somewhere else. These bears actually feel how we feel when we were around them. So they get a positive uh, outcome. I try and make sure that the bear hears my voice, knows my smell, so that it once, once it knows that, if we meet up with a bear kind of like this morning, that isn't in one of the places where we normally view bears. And then that's why I started talking to her. She was a bit uneasy, then once she heard a familiar voice, the smell, you know, then she became comfortable again. where the word spirit bear came from was actually the conservation group that uh, was trying to protect from logging. So here now, um, one thing that Gitgat First Nation is doing, we're protecting it. You know, right now in Hartley Bay, we only have about 160 people living there. So we're trying to keep it the same way it is. We're happy. If we decide to make this island a special place for these bears. It'll be on our terms and nobody else's. To be able to have the same things, to be able to offer our kids and our grandkids the same thing that we had.